Well, as Mark just mentioned there, the Attorney General has opened a criminal probe and it comes on top of personal lawsuits that have already been filed against BP. Attorney Stuart Smith is one of those representing commercial fishermen and he spoke to me from Pensacola in Florida just a few minutes ago. Stuart Smith, you've done this before, but how tough is it to take on big oil? Well, you got to have uh, a lot of money and a lot of soldiers. Uh, they are, they are, the, I think, one of the toughest competitors in a courtroom anywhere in the world. And who do you actually take on? Because we've seen from the companies themselves when they appeared here in Washington on Capitol Hill, they're just pointing fingers at each other. So who do you actually go for? Well, obviously, uh, BP is the big target. Um, they're going to do everything they can to throw the little companies under the bus and get, extract as much uh, money out of them as possible. Uh, clearly, uh, all of them that were actively involved in this outrageously reckless operation are liable and uh, ultimately will have to pay their share. And what's your case going to rest on principally? Well, I think it's going to be principally rest on the fact that it was their oil um, under English common law um, going up for back centuries, those that are performing unnaturally dangerous activities are absolutely liable for the damages. Um, clearly punitive damages will be a big issue in this case as well. But as we know from previous cases like uh, the Exxon Valdez, it could take years if not decades for any payouts. Well, I think that a lot of the law that was unsettled in the Exxon Valdez case has now been settled. One of the reasons it took so long was because of the fact that there was a lot of gray areas in the law at that time. While we do still have some gray areas as a result of the OPA, uh, uh, the Oil Pollution Control Act uh, legislation, I think the general maritime law principles are pretty well settled at this point. Any idea what kind of numbers you're looking for? Well, uh, we're looking for full damages. Uh, it's been reported in the press that uh, tens of billions at, at, at this point are at stake. Um, if this thing keeps leaking as expected until late August, early September, when the relief wells are completed, there's really no way to guesstimate. The, the problem is, is that until they stop the leak and the, the, the oil goes where it will go, no one will really know what the full damages are. I mean, one of the complications might be that, that there are indications out there that if BP gets more financially, it might be gobbled up by another company. That would make things more complicated for you, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, because uh, another, another company to, that would gobble it up is going to want to limit its exposure. Um, you've had uh, people like James Carville come on TV and say they need to change the name now to Louisiana Oil. So um, who knows? Just finally, uh, Stuart, the fact that uh, the Attorney General has opened a criminal investigation into this, does that help your case? Well, I, hopefully it won't impede it. Um, some situations in the past, you've had situations where criminal investigations would actually impede the civil litigation. In this case, with so many damaged fishermen and others, we would hope that the criminal investigation would not impede compensation to the victims. Um, clearly, the uh, trailblazing done by the government in this case and through Congress and now this other investigation certainly should uh, provide a road map uh, towards uh, the ultimate conclusion of fault. Indeed. Stuart Smith, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you.